I am Anthony for Hashlegenet, and today we'll be talking about Toy Fair 2020, specifically what tickled my fancy. I did not attend the event, but I did watch a few presentations online. Every toy that I will be mentioning today is available for pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com. Go ahead and reserve your favorite figures before they are gone. You know, after I finish talking about them. So I have to be honest, Hasbro really blew me away, but my focus was primarily on their Transformers segment and Wave 2 of Earthrise. I also liked what I saw for Ghostbusters and Marvel, but that was not why I was watching. The War for Cybertron trilogy has brought back updated versions of classic designs of previously released figures that I have been always wanting to own. And however, some of the updated figures have been released in more recent years that I didn't like. For example, Combiner Wars released an update at Skylinks as a Combiner Torso, and he only could transform into the Space Shuttle and then a Combined Beast Mode. Uh, I wanted two Beast Modes, the Combined Beast Mode, and the Space Shuttle. This new version adds a launch pad to that, so it gives me what I want, plus one thing more, and it's huge. It is one of the biggest non-combiners they've ever made. And at some point, maybe uh, September, I think is the date. Maybe I'll get it by September. That'd, that'd be good. Also, a couple other uh, notable figures. Uh, the Decepticon Mirage. So if anybody's watched the um, animated series back in the old days of the 80s, um, there was an episode where uh, members of the Autobots thought maybe Mirage was a spy for the Decepticons. Because, you know, if you know Mirage, he can be invisible. Uh, in the Siege line, they actually released a transparent or translucent Mirage, kind of a blue color to, to say, hey, uh, he's cloaked. So then we also have a refractory color called Scrap Face. And both Scrap Face and Mirage are part of the Netflix series. And uh, Scrap Face is simply just a recoloring, a ref refractor, which is uh, a rename of Reflector. Uh, which, if you have three refractors, you create a camera. If you see behind me over here, I have two refractors. I have one I've already opened and uh, transformed or whatever, and you can watch that video on this channel. But uh, I ordered a scrap face, or pre-order, should say, and I had ordered these two other refractors, and now I'm chances are when, when scrap face comes in, I'm going to be tr uh, selling one of these two guys off. At $20, if you're interested, hit me up. So then they introduced for the main line, so uh, again, those two previous ones, uh, Decepticon Mirage and the Recolored Refractor Scrap Face are part of the Netflix series toy line. The main toy line, the uh, War for Cybertron Earthrise toy line, Wave 2, they came up with Double Dealer. Double Dealer is a triple changer. He's a tank. He's a, a bird. But then they also... It seems to be a theme here. They added an additional form where he's a rocket launcher. Now, I don't know much about Deborah Dealer. I'm told he's been in other forms of, Star, um, of Transformers media. And that's fine. I just thought he looked cool. So I, I had to have him, right? Uh, next up is Fast Track. He is a weaponizer. Uh, and he's one of Scorponox uh, lackeys, I guess is what you want to say. Uh, because they had previously released um, like Six Gun, uh, Brunt, and... Uh, Cog, which were also uh, underlings of other Titans. Are you getting Scorponok? No, I am not getting Scorponok. Uh, Scorponok, uh, Metroplex, Metro Titan, whatever, all, all of those Titans are huge in the War for Cybertron series and in the Combiner Wars. They, what do they say, like two, three feet tall? I, I, had, I had Metroplex in box for six months and it's just I didn't have a place to put him. I ended up having to sell him. Uh, I don't regret it because again I had no place for I have no place to put him now. Uh, although I guess I could line the, sh the walls with shelving or something. Anyway, moving on. So then they had the Quintesson Judge. So if you remember the the movie, uh, we're talking Transformers the movie back in the old days. Uh, the Quintesson Judge was the one who had the Alicons, and they ruled. Basically, everybody was guilty. It didn't matter if you're innocent. Uh, and then you'd be fed to the Alicons. And then 
after that, the Alicons is uh, a figure as well, which makes sense. If I'm going to get the Quintessons, I'm going to get the Alicons. Now, the, the weird thing about the Alicons are just the Alicon in the robot form, which is on the animation. Um, the Quintessons or Quintessons? Eh. Uh, anyway, um, they transform into a little base for the, I want to say Minicons, but I know that's not the word. Micromasters or whatever. Um, and um, that's not really my thing, but it does have five heads and you can spin them around like in the animation. So I thought that was pretty cool. So then they have Snapdragon. He is the last of the Terracons that have been released or have to yet to be released. They released earlier or in 2019, they released his partner, Ape Face. And so the gimmick's real simple. Uh, Ape Face was a jet and an ape and a bot mode. Snapdragon is a jet and a dragon and a bot mode. And in the case of both of them, they are headmasters, so their heads pop up. Uh, and I want to be clear about it. Uh, Double Dealer is not a headmaster. So then we get to uh, Super 7. They are a company that I had previously disregarded as I saw their action figure line as niche or niche or however you want to pronounce it. But then I saw that they were recreating and releasing classic 4-inch 5 points of articulation Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, as part of their reaction figures toy line. However, I'm looking for four characters that I never found in stores during the TMNT's initial run of the 4-inch figures under Playmates. Uh, I am in the hunt for the 4-inch General Treg, Slash, Rat King, and Mona Lisa. I hope that those characters are planned for the future. With that said, uh, NECA had a display of highly articulated, cel-shaded TMNT 7-inch figures that included General Treg and Slash. Uh, it's just too bad they're not in scale with my other figures, uh, else I would want them both, but they look so good. There was plenty more at the Toy Fair, but money is finite, and I need to keep a narrow focus. Um, so check out my image sources in the description to see more of the toys at the fair. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. We would also like to thank our contributors and patrons for supporting this video. If you wish to add to the discussion, post a comment below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.